Problem number one. Sunday evening after the show, and then again on Monday, Dave started to feel sick. Problem number two. Dave hit me up earlier this week. We got an email from the show saying that our two two-hour sessions have now been switched down to one two-hour session. That leads us into problem number three. As I mentioned before, Dave has been feeling sick. So we're gonna give him a little leeway on this one, but I've called him multiple times. He's not answered me. Yesterday, he was feeling fine. He's done all of his tests and checked out things, looking good. So, I don't know what's going on. I don't know where Dave is. We've gotta get up to DC. We've gotta do this show. What are we gonna do? Outside of Dave's house. I feel like Tom Hanks from uh, That Thing You Do, where he's trying to wake Guy up and he's like, you've got a lot of problems, things are going down. Good morning, Guy, we have a crisis here. Your bass player has disappeared and you are still in bed. Just calling to tell you to get your patootie down to the television studio, you're gonna be on TV tonight. Uh, all right, the classic uh, ring the doorbell and have Dave's beautiful large animals bark and scream. Woke him up, we did it. Dave's getting ready, he's gonna head on down here. Then we're gonna head on out. All right, we got ourselves a Dave. How you feeling, buddy? Not good. Ah, oh, geez, okay. All right, we got ourselves a Dave. Time to head out to the wine show. Let's do the damn thing. Let's go. Before we could finish breaking down, we had multiple vendors approach us interested in buying art. If you ever find yourself working at any event, I highly recommend you have a vendor discount. Anyone working the show or setting up at it, we always offer 40% off. The discount always leaves a great impression with vendors or showrunners, and it's a quick way to make an extra buck before the event even starts. I think we made an extra $200 off the vendors before the whole thing began. This was especially needed since the show was dropped to one session and we didn't have many other options for this weekend. I've said it once and I say it again, January can be a tough month for shows. We're incredibly grateful for the extra sales and support from everyone at this show. After those sweet sales from our vendors, we had a little extra time to goof off. And I even got to play a little guitar and relive some of my sweet rock star days in my band Shade Parade. Enough fooling around though, let's get back to it.
started to wind down, we had to move real fast to get to our next show. All right, show one done. We actually did quite well for a two hour show. I think we did around 800 bucks. Actually, I don't know if I really share money with you guys, but two hours, $800, pretty sweet deal. Now, head to show number two, the Tabletop Tavern in Manassas. You ready, Dave? I'm ready. He's ready. Let's go. big thank you for drink the district for having us out over there and like the biggest hugest thank you to tabletop tavern for having us out last minute saved our weekend. saved our weekend so make sure to go to drink districts events and go to tabletop tavern out in historic manazas it's super awesome out there the guys are super awesome great super cool place go check it out we'll see you next week in fredericksburg at the frosty brew through peace